Welcome to today's Simplicity Specialty Training. Today's training is going to be on our bulk account management tool. To get there, we're going to go to Tools and Bulk Account Manager. All right, this is the screen that you'll see when you get into the Bulk Account Manager. This is the same filter set that's available throughout Simplicity, whether you're in the Global Search tool or in the home screen. You've got all the same filters across the board. One thing that the Bulk Account Manager is often used for is assigning accounts. Um, for example, when you are importing new accounts, they will be unassigned accounts. If you want to assign those accounts to a collector, you can filter by unassigned accounts. <laughs> Click View Accounts and pull up these accounts here. So all of these accounts that we're showing are currently unassigned. To assign these to a collector, you can come down to this section here. It does default to select all, so if you wanted to deselect all of your accounts and only select specific ones, you can definitely do that here. We're going to go ahead and leave them selected. Perform the following actions on all of the selected accounts is actually a drop down. And it also has an option to enter a number or a percentage. We're going to go ahead and do a number. And we'll just do 31 of the current 331 accounts. Bulk Account Manager does show you 500 accounts at a time. So if I had had more than 500 accounts in this particular filter set, there would be an extended button here that will say Show Next. Um, for example, if I had 600 accounts here, it would say show next 100 of 600 accounts. Okay, so we're just going to perform the following actions on 31 of the selected accounts. Now all of these options down here are available for you to choose from. You can generate documents in bulk. You can set account statuses. You can set a bulk account note. So for example, if you wanted to um, <coughs> Excuse me, generate the document. The documents do automatically generate a note on the account when, when generated in bulk, but if you needed to add an additional note, you could definitely do that. Assign to collector, which is what we're going to be doing right now. You can also uh, change client assignments. You can add a tickler. If I check this box, it gives me the option to add a due date. So that can be done in bulk. You can add an action code, add a letter flow, and enable credit bureau reporting. So all of these options can be done in bulk. Um, as I said, you can uh, filter this by any of those account filters up at the top, or you can leave it as select all, leaving this as all instead of selecting a number. And that will just um, apply these changes to all of these 331 accounts. But in order to show the changes, we're just going to take a selection. Right, and we'll select user 1 as our assigned collector. So once I've made my selections in this section here, we're going to click Perform Selected Actions. Okay, and as you can see, our number of accounts in the Bulk Account Manager that we've pulled up has diminished by 31 because we are filtering by unassigned accounts. So there's 31 less accounts that are currently unassigned. Okay, any questions so far? As you can see down here, it does say perform actions on 31 accounts successfully, so that's an indication that, um, that this action was successfully performed. Um, between assigning accounts, you will want to switch that back to all or change the number or the percentage. So for example, if this time I wanted to do 50% of the remaining accounts, then I would select percent, otherwise it will just default to uh, the number that you inputted previously. Okay. So another feature of this bulk account manager is that these columns are, um, are, are filters. You can click on the balance, and depending on how many times you click on it, one click does um, least to greatest, and two clicks does greatest to least. 
Okay, I just had a, a great question come in um, asking about the uh, the 31 accounts. It does take it from the top. It does not go in random order. So if you were to um, to select those 31 accounts, it would go top to bottom. Any other questions? Um, we have a question. Sure. If you want to sort it by alphabet, could you do that by last name? You definitely can. Yep, you can click on the name. All of these across the top will turn into a hyperlink that you can then sort. Any other questions? I'll give you just a minute if anyone else wants to chime in. All right, well, if there's no other questions, that concludes today's specialty training. Um, we have another question. Sure. Um, what what other uses um, are there for this other than uh, what you just showed us? Which uh, are there any other uses that people use to do these things in bulk? Um, it's just this is is literally just a tool to manage your accounts in bulk. So all of these options that are shown at the bottom, this is what this tool is used for, um, and, and this is its its primary purpose. Um, is to assign accounts in bulk, generate documents, set account status, et cetera. So all of these options at the bottom, that is what this tool is used for. Did that answer your question? Um, yes, uh, yeah. Um, we have to have certain things set up uh, in order to do the sorting, right? Like we would have to have uh, certain action codes and things like that set up already? Yes. yes, you would need to have those set up prior to use of the bulk account management tool to assign those things. Um, for example, documents can be uploaded after the mail merge process is performed. Those can be uploaded through your settings. Um, your ticklers can be added through an account and clicking on ticklers. Uh, you have the option to add descriptions there. Action codes can be added through uh, the clean details page in an account. When those um, those action codes and things are um, are added to an account, it is system-wide. Um, when you add a description to an account, I, su I should say, not the individual action code, um, but when an, a description is added, it is added system-wide. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Okay, well, we'll go ahead and end our training, but uh, you will all receive a copy of this training through a mass email. Um, otherwise, you can go to our YouTube page and it will be available there shortly as well, along with all of our, our previous training. Any questions before we end? Okay, well, we appreciate you choosing Simplicity, and thank you for attending the specialty training today. We hope to see you next week for our training. Thanks.